And I know for somebody here, you're like, man, this message is too late. Because I have moved away from my core guiding principles and my values. And I'm standing in a rash of bad decisions. Maybe you made a bad decision last night. Okay, if you feel like this message was too late for you, I understand because I've sat where you sit and heard the preacher say don't, and I already did. And I felt tremendous amount of guilt and shame as I was reflecting on the decisions that I made. And so let me just clear a couple of things up real quick. This concept of pre-decision, this did not originate in a stock trading book. This originated with God and was displayed best through Jesus. Let me take you back to his redemptive history, to the greatest pre-decision ever made. Page three of my Bible, things go really, really wrong. Adam and Eve disobey God. They eat of the fruit that he said not to eat from because they questioned his character and his goodness. So they took matters into their own hand, thereby infecting every single human heart thereafter. What's God do? He doesn't just scratch it and start over. No, why? Because he had predecided from eternity's past to right the wrong of humanity himself. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son, Christ Jesus. Jesus came from heaven to earth to save you from your decisions and your sin through his death and his resurrection. And so if you're sitting in the mess of a bad decision, you need to understand that God has covered every single bad decision with the blood of Jesus Christ. There is nothing that you can do and nothing that you will do that can separate you from the love of God other than your decision to keep avoiding God and trying to reach perfectionism through your own effort, through your own self-righteousness, through your try harder, do more. You know, God foreknew the sins of humanity and he predecided. He predecided before you ever made the decision that you made in college. He predecided before the decision that you've been making for the last four months. And he predecided well in advance of the decisions that you're going to make that are going to go against his principles. And Romans chapter 5, verse 8 echoes this theme. To paraphrase, it says that God predecided that in his love for you and for me, he would send his son Christ Jesus to die while we were still sinners. You realize that God predecided to love you before you ever decide to love him. And he sent his son Jesus to demonstrate his love to save you, to save you from your sin, to save you from your depravity, to save you from your guilt and the shame that consumes you because of the bad decision. Jesus came not because we were perfect, but precisely because we aren't perfect. And in our moment of deception and depravity, that is the dimension that Jesus predecided to step into. And it's that choice of God that best displays the power of predecision.